lines. Yeah. Okay. So we line up in these straight lines. I saying this must be next to us. Oh. So if I told you you're covered, mm-hmm. you're next to a man. Like seriously. <laughs> Will he be able to concentrate? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the reason as to why we do that, we separate them to allow everyone to concentrate. How are you feeling? Hey, I feel good, you guys. Excited? Being a Muslim for the first time, you know? <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> so what name can I give you? Uh, Hajat? No. Uh, just give me Yasmin. Fatuma. Fatuma? Yeah. The lady's side is smaller than the men's side because the ladies can pray anywhere. They can pray from home because of, remember, they are mad. some of them are mothers, the duties that they have. But for the men, very large, because for them they're supposed to come and pray from the mosque. The stadium, yeah, there's a stadium and there. Arena Mall, it is there! He stands right over there in front facing the Kipra and we have got speakers all over around. While he's doing it live from here, the voice moves around. Mm. People know that it's time for the prayer. Oh. So if I told you, you're covered, mm-hmm. you're next to a man, like seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Will he be able to concentrate? Okay. Yeah. So the reason as to why we do that, we separate them to allow everyone to concentrate. Oh. And while facing the Kipra, no matter you're from Canada, he's from Germany, you're from US, I'm from Africa. While facing the Kibra, we always want. No matter the language that you're speaking, no matter how expensive clothes and jewelry or fumes you're wearing, while facing the Kibra, we always want. No matter the color, everything, while facing the Kibra, we always want. Okay? Yeah. And in the mosque, we don't have special seats for anyone. So if I told you the president or you're the most richest man in the country, like when you come here, when the line in front is full, obvious case you're going to go behind. First prayer is only in the morning at around 6, 6.30 in between there. The next one is at 1, the third one at 4, the fourth one at 7, and then the last one at 8. Five daily prayers. What we noticed is that right now we are on the women's side, the ladies' side. Yeah. So what we noticed is that this side is, is smaller than the men's side. The reason is because ladies are excused to to pray even at home without even coming uh, to the mosque, while men is a must for them to come to the mosque and pray. So their number is kind of greater than for, for ladies. So guys, I hope you like the tour. Uh, I'm here with her. Yay. She's super excited. <laughs> Here, the tower, so it has 272 uh, steps. So you climb it, and then on the, on the top of it, you can view uh, the seven hills around Kampala. So basically, it's a lot of exercise. Let's see how it goes. It's my first time here, so I never expect. It. I want to show you. So guys, okay, we have arrived half of the stairs. So 272 divided by so two. So just don't worry, I Oh. So we still have 136 again. So you've done 136 at half. So basically, 
किया हुआ इसको पी है surely Guys, we're going to see the seven hills that are surrounding Kampala. Let's come and do this, but hey man, check behind me. This is our city we're in Kampala. Wait. Hmm. So that's seven hills, as I told you, we are at hill number one called Old Kampala Hill, where we find the Gaddafi Mosque. Right now, we are at the Old Kampala Hill, but at Gaddafi Mosque to the minaret, 272 steps. From hill number one, by the way, when you look around, we have got a lot of hills, mm. but I'm only going to show you the seven ones, the original ones. Right now, we have got 21 hills of Kampala. So from hill number one called Old Kampala Hill, we have the white and blue big building that's called Pearl of Africa Hotel. It is a five-star hotel. And behind it, we have a hill with two antennas that's called Kololo Hill. We have an airstrip down there called Kololo Airstrip. Mm -hmm. A lot of embassies down there. So basically, that's the beverage hills. If yeah. at all, yeah, if at all you've got your money, that's the right place to be. Where? Kololo Hill. Oh, okay. Kololo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Behind Pearl of Africa, the hill with oh. two antennas, that's Kololo Hill. Okay. And from Pearl of Africa to down here, we have got Nakasero Hill. Okay. And the reason is why it's called Nakasero. So we have a food and bed market. 90% sells food grown from here. So back then, people used to go to that market holding baskets. And in Luganda, a basket is called Akasero. So they named the place after a basket, which yes. is Nakasero Hill, oh. and it's mainly for okay. business. Okay. And we have got Makelele Hill, where you see a lot of green trees. Yes. So that's yeah. called Makelele, that's Makelele Hill. Hill. Yeah. And it is where we find one of the oldest universities in East Africa, which has just made 100 years. And Makelele University started as a technical school mm. with only 14 students. 14? 14. 14. But right now it is one of the biggest one and then the oldest one. So when you come closer to this side, you know the point where you want us Mango is among the hills, yeah, it's like among the seven hills. Yeah, it's among them. Okay. So through this road, we have a yellow building on top with a lot oh, of green. Oh, yeah. Through this very road, yeah. we have on top of the building a oh, green compound with a yellow building. Okay. So that's the mango hill, and it is where we find the king's palace. 
you know when you come to Uganda, we have five kingdoms. So we have one of the biggest ones called the Uganda Kingdom. So that's the main palace. Though the king doesn't live there by the way. He doesn't, but that's the main one. We have a lot of palaces, but that's the official. So he doesn't live there. He only goes there with the famous different celebrations to the press. So we have the Idi Amin Tocha Chambers that side. We have a man-made lake which was constructed by the 52 clan members of the Uganda Kingdom and it is called the Kabakas Lake on the other side of the King's Palace. So it is also a tourist destination. And this is one of the slum areas of Kampala called the Kiseli slum area. There we have the roads. And we have the Orino Market. And we have one of the biggest markets in East Africa called Owino Market. When you try to look down there, we have a lot of green rooftops with a lot of congestion. Can you see? That's Owino. So it is a second-hand market, but one thing about that market is finding your way in is the most easiest thing. But finding your way out, it is the most difficult thing, but with a great experience. Your way in, yes, but your way out, different story. So it has a lot of entries and a lot of exits. And just left Owino, we have a stadium under renovation. That was our first national stadium, uh, called Metro B Stadium. It's under renovation. Before that, we, we have Mandela National Stadium, the national one, and that was our first football stadium. And we have the organized place where we find the old taxi park. Just down there, we have a lot of ta taxis yeah, parked yeah, around. The taxi park. yeah. mm -hmm. That's the old taxi park, the organized place. Mm -hmm. So basically, <laughs> there's seven hills from up here. Though, as I told you, we have got more than seven hills. Right now, we have got 21 hills. Yes. See a so, lot. Have you tried to notice that all roads are leading to this hill? Yes, this absolutely. Is the center That's of the city. Wow. This hill. From up here, you can almost be every part of the clear. <laughs> so, you guys, uh -huh. you had an amazing experience. Mm. You guys should come and check this place out, you know. Everyone is allowed to come and you know we are Christians but we are in a we are in a mosque. Yeah and we had an amazing experience. Hope Afro Sam you have enjoyed this and Kenyans please Nairobi. Why you guys come and visit. Kampala has amazing places. One of them is the Gaddafi Mosque and it is located on the Kampala Hill. We have twenty one hills. But so far we have covered one. Right. <laughs> So guys, apparently we came to the end of our tour of Gaddafi Mosque. This is the largest mosque in East Africa, by the way, and the biggest in Uganda. But hey, trust me, it is worth visiting. It's found at uh, Kampala, Kampala Hills. Yeah. Kampala yes. Hill. So guys, you find it at Kampala Hills, and uh, hey, come and check it for yourself, man. You just pay. Uh, was it ten thousand? Yeah. So you pay ten thousand Ugandan ceilings, and you're good to go. You take you on the rooftop. Yeah. Everything is amazing. So here, this is an exit, but it's just an open place of the, the, the mosque. So we went there, that place has like uh, 172 uh, stairs. So we climbed it, we made it. So halfway, you rest a little bit and then you proceed to the last bit of it. This is my first time here. I'm super excited of my country, Uganda. Thanks and peace out. See you in the next video.